I'm Jordi Miltena. I'm a PhD student at uh, UPF, Universidad Pumpa Fabra. I'm working on the use case based on the left atrial appendage occlusion. We are a team in charge to run flow simulations on the left atrium in patients who undergo left atrial appendage occlusion to better understand the isolated thrombosis. My specific role is to find the best vulnerable conditions for simulations with the data provided by the hospitals in a way that the simulations can be integrated on a daily basis in the workflow of the left atrial appendage occlusion treatment. And in parallel, we, we are trying to make sure that the results are reliable. And for this, we are doing the verification and validation of those models following the VMV40 guidelines. As there is this lack of consensus and also this lack of verification and validation, we are mainly doing two things in our work package. One is to, um, as I said, to look for all the data that we can have from the hospitals and extract the different boundary conditions and see what's the best ones. Uh, when we have that, we will follow the VNV40 guidelines, following all the steps to say, okay, our, our method, our model is um, validated and it's verificated so you can, you can use it. We are on the right track. Uh, we have been, as I said, already all the boundary conditions and all the data that we need. We have already one setup that we think that is the best one. And in the following days, we will uh, start to compare the results that we are obtaining with the simulations with a 3D printed benchmark that is according to VNV40 is one of the steps needed to, to say, to, to compute the error and to see how, how reliable your model is. Once we know that our simulations are reliable, uh, I think that we can start to create big cohorts needed to, to have enough um, representation of the populations. Because even if you want to run in silico trials or you want to use it in the hospitals, every individual is very different, especially the left atrium. So you need a big, a big cohort to say, okay, it's representative of all the population. I think that keep learning. Uh, at the end, those problems are multi-physics. Every step of the process, you need a specialist. I think that SimCardio test gives me the opportunity to work with people worldwide that are specialists on, on their field. So as a PhD student, I'm learning a lot. I'm, I'm very happy with that. I think that artificial uh, intelligence and simulations will play a key role. Um, first, letting the doctors be doctors and then to provide patient-specific medicine. And I say that because on one hand, it will allow to automate uh, a lot of processes. I'm not saying um, imagine processing or diagnosing uh, tools. I'm saying also less attractive processes like bureaucratic processes. So you will save a lot of time to the physicians. And on the other hand, simulations and also artificial intelligence, I think that it's a very good match will give to the physicians a virtual twin of each patient. And this means a lot of patient-specific information. So at the end, you will give to the physicians a lot of tools to, to them to only to think about it. Okay, what's the best plan? What's the best strategy to treat uh, this patient?